What is up, all my kooky, cocky gamers? It's your boy, Mr. Old Rash, and today, for today's indie game of the day, I've chosen a date with the serial killer. Now, I don't know nothing about it. What is my name? Hmm, it is Mr. Road Rash. Mr. Road Rash, all right. Blindfold, huh? I guess. Blindfold dating for the socially impaired. Match with someone the second I download the app. I hope I spell my spell my name right on my profile. Weird, I couldn't double check it. I only have a message. Meet me here. I shouldn't go, but it might be fun. <laughs> That's exactly what the smart people think. This will be fun. I better get going. This is really far from the main area of town. I wonder if they live out here. Maybe it's secluded for a reason. <laughs> wow, 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 wow. I've been feeling fine. It's getting really cold. I should hurry up. <sighs> I hurry and finally make it to a rundown house. I quickly step inside without even knocking, just run into the house. Just as cold in here as it is out there. I'm supposed to find the room with the table. The room with the table? This is such a bad idea. This is so run down. But yet, I'm gonna do it. Why am I here again? I moved to the house to find the room with the table. This is odd. They're late, aren't they? That's what's odd about it, is that they're late. What do I expect from even trying this again? I sit quietly at the table, a clock on the wall telling me I made a mistake waiting for someone who wasn't going to show up. Online dating had never gone that great for me, but this was a new low. <laughs> the only people I ever see any have were people from my old high school, Maple High. Such a dumb name for a high school. Original much? Try blind dating, they said. It won't, it won't go badly, they said. Blindfold, the kinkiest name for such a supposedly lovely app. One just for friends and find just finding your soulmate. I mean, the whole app is questionable. Actually, I don't even think the name is the worst part of the app. Matching with a random profile that has similar interests. The blanket has no actual info on the person you're talking with. You get like, what, five messages to see if you like the person? After that, you send them a location and time and go and meet them. I get why the app had such bad reviews. I mean, this is a serial killer's wet dream right here. Honestly, this goes bad. I can't be upset. Like, at least my death will be featured on some cool true crime show. Question, but maybe. Maybe we shouldn't go to abandoned buildings. And if it's, if it's, a, um, I don't know who the person is. Have some common sense, just don't go. Location I was sent led me to a small little sitting area, partially closed in. Vines and plants covering the wall. Bright LEDs blinding me. It's secluded. Looks like it's attached to a small house hidden away from people. If this area was left open for me. Hmm. It would be easy for whoever's on the other side to do some damage. No one would know and not many people would know I'm gone. What am I even doing? I guess I don't care about a lot anymore. I want some love, Mr. What? I just need some love. As I stare at the single clock on the wall, a voice catches me off guard. Hello, I am so sorry, I'm late, I just... The voice gets closer as a man pulls up the chair across from me. The man's face gets red as he realizes his elbow's on the table. I... So sorry. My, you are just so... I... I find myself unable to find the voice to describe you. What would you prefer I call you? <laughs> handsome baby! Handsome Mr. Road Rush. Sorry, you're quite breathtaking. Um, anyways, my name is Dimitri. What a, what a great name. Uh, this guy is best makes me feel about myself and a little scared. Feel, uh, it, it's, it's Mr. Road, it's Mr. Road, that's my name. Dimitri stares at me with an interesting look on his face. Wow, Mr. Road, Rash, it's a very nice name. Feels nice to say. Indeed, who doesn't like saying Mr. Road, Rash with a zero in photo? Oh, okay, it's a great name. I can't believe my... We finally get to meet. I was worried you may have been messing with me. No, Dimitri, never, my guy, dude. I would never mess with you. You know, talking to me just to stand me up. I'm glad you didn't. So, so glad. You know, Dimitri, I don't like how you're facing the door and I have no escape. And the game's called A Date With Your Killer. So maybe I shouldn't be here. Hmm? 
We didn't get to talk much on Blindfold. Well, not at all. Ha <laughs> ha. Dimitri's expression changes as his head moves, shifted his weight into one arm, moved the other on the table. He looked more intense than before. Oh, so very intense. You know, his eyes changed to the intense eyes. Such a strange concept for a date and app. I mean, all we know, I could be plotting to end you. I mean, I, I wouldn't, but I don't expect you to trust me. I'm surprised you even met me here. You know, Dimitri, I kind of don't really like your vibe. Um, d again, Dimitri, you're kind of a little creepy. Had me in this little spot here. I guess I'm just going to go with the flow. Apparently, I'm also a woman because you're... Well, hey, hey, hey. I mean, I, I take it back. I mean, I could be a man. But it seems, from what I'm saying, is that this character, Mr. Orash, is actually a Mrs. Orash. This should be his name, but whatever. Again, I'm so incredibly glad you showed up. I didn't think I could handle being rejected again. You know, Dimitri, have you ever been rejected before? I told you weren't good enough over and over and over. No, not you're just a loser, Dimitri. Of course, Dimitri, of course. I don't understand. Now, how? I mean, look at you. I'm glad you haven't rejected me yet. Hope it stays that way. You're wonderful. Yeah, Dimitri, you know, you just... You just looking at my eyes and my face and you're like i'm the one i haven't even talked much it's all you and your change of expressions dimitri's face changes he looks even more intense <laughs> oh i can tell he's so intense this is going great so far so what would you like to talk about move on um ask you about dimitri's life how's your life going we don't know anything personal about each other Tell me about yourself, Dimitri. Tell me about you. What, what you get? Dimitri's cooking. What gets his his day, his him up in the morning? Is should I I should say? All right, of course. I'll list the basics or the things you may want to know. That's the basics, Dimitri. Well, my name is Dimitri Amor Belarose. My birthday is the 10th of October. I'm 21 years old, and I think I'm a, a, li a librarian. He thinks he's a librarian. It's kind of weird. A libra. I don't really have a label, but I guess I would say I'm pan. You're a pan? Can I cook you in you? I don't think so. You're not a pan. You're Dimitri. I'm 5'7", and I don't know how much I weigh. I haven't weighed myself in a while. Okay, Dimitri. Oh, also, I was born in France and raised here. Both of my parents are French and speak it fluently. Me, not so much. I speak limited French. No, oh, no way. Wow, that's a lot. That's so much. You didn't have to tell me any of that. I don't care. You do have a nice name. If you hadn't told me, I, I wouldn't have known you were French. You don't have much of an accent at all, Dimitri. At all. Well, it's there sometimes, but I only lived in France up until I was 10. I guess it slowly disappeared over the years. Ask about. You know what? I don't really care about everything else, Dimitri. You know, I don't, I don't like. I think I've asked everything I can, I can think of, Dimitri. I think I have. Well, let's move on, shall we? Of course, Dimitri. Let's move on, man. So I realized I never asked. What's with the mask, Dimitri? What's with the mask? Dimitri's voice changes. He sounds annoying. I, I have a cold. I was trying not to get you sick too. You fucking loser! Oh, whoa, Dimitri. Whoa. So, sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. This feels really hostile now. It's okay. You know what I should do? I should do, I should do a French accent so you guys can just tell when I'm Dimitri. Ready? It's a... That's... It's a okay. Today is special, you know? Why is that, Dimitri? Why is that? Not only is our first date, it happens to be on Valentine's Day. Which means... You must, we must really like each other. You do like me, right? Of course, Dimitri, of course. You're my best pal, my best friend. I've never heard such good news of before. That's so great. Let's do this again sometime. I have something I need to do. I'll see you later. Well, it's see you, Dimitri. Before I could say anything, Dimitri had left. I couldn't stop him even if I wanted to. I soon got up and walked into the hallway. From what I remember, at least. That went by too fast. Was it that good or am I forgetting something? No, I'm not forgetting anything. Surely not. Our conversation didn't flow, but I didn't forget parts of it. It was just awkward, right? I did get up and leave. I remember because I'm still so cold.
Well, okay, I guess that's the thing. I guess if you say, like, yeah, we're not best friends, you get murdered by him or something? I don't really know. Anyways, that'll do it for this episode. Hope you enjoyed. It was, it was, it was keep it, keeping it real. It was okay. It wasn't that great. But it was okay. We'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye. <laughs>